You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. You're watching in this clip Kelsey Brown, 2012 guard out of Webb School in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, plays for one of the better programs year in and year out in the state. You see her here knocking down jumpers, but she also has really good ball skill. We'll talk more about her overall game in the upcoming clips. Introducing Kelsey Brown. I mean, you're watching her make jumper after jumper here. The thing that we liked about Brown inside this workout, and we've had a chance to work out with her. You know, a little bit during the school season last year, she came down with one of her high school teammates, Marjorie Butler. You watch her footwork here as she gets around the ball to get the basketball up. Every shot is the same there at the end. The nice high one-second follow-through. Obviously, she can shoot the jumper, as you're going to continue to see in these clips. But she also has the ball skill to be able to play it on the point. You know, she's played, once again, in one of the better high school programs in the state. Hadn't played a ton of point guard inside of school games, although that's probably her natural position at the next level, in addition to knocking down the open jumper. And her ability to make shots, which is what you're watching here, you know, off the back pedal here, catching here at about 10 feet, knocking it down, then also hitting shots here at about 16 or 17 feet. Her ability to make shots allows her to bust up a zone. You know, so you can play her off the ball against the zone, even though in theory she's a smaller off guard, she can do that. Or she's going to be a ball reversal shot making point guard for you. You know, a kid who facilitates, gets you into your offense, and is going to make that jumper, you know, from the three-point line or that catch rip through one bounce at a high clip. You know, you're talking, you know, mid to high 30s in terms of her getting her feet set and knocking down that three, which at any level, you know, was a really good percentage, you know, looking at, at a point guard being able to make shots, keep defenses honest, all the while defending on the other end, getting the offense started, getting the ball rolling for you. So you can see even right here as we go through a minute clip in which she just doesn't miss anything. You know, her feet are underneath. The ball comes out clean on every single shot. Every single shot looks the same. But she was really impressive. You see her switch it up. And she knocks down the, the spot up three here. You know, we didn't do a, a ton of this. And obviously it's something she's good at and can make those shots. Uh, you're going to see her knock down, I think, four or five in a row right here in this clip. Really wanted to talk about her ball skill inside this workout and getting her ready to play the point. You know, from a point position, she actually has played, plays alongside Marjorie Butler right now. Same class, 2012. She's already verbally committed to the University of Georgia. And before Butler, they had a point guard named Jessica Goswich, who is at Rice right now, has started her first two years, freshman and sophomore year for the Owls. So Brown has played and practiced against and with, you know, some of the better guards to come out of the state of Tennessee here in recent memory. So definitely is seasoned in that way. You can see her right here, dribble down, pitch with that left hand that we can, come back around the cone tight, be in a position to knock down that open jumper. Her footwork is really, really good off of the move, which a lot of times is hard for kids who are such good spot shooters to be able to also shoot it here off the move. Same drill, just going the other way. Coming back now to her strong side, which is, in theory, for a right-handed kid a little bit tougher. Uh, you're going to see that her mechanics and her footwork don't change. She comes right back to me on the curl, catch that there, gets her feet around. You know, she's a kid that likes that hop step as opposed to the one-two coming in. Doesn't really, you know, matter to, to us in terms of the footwork as long as it's consistent and as long as shots are going down. And she gets the ball out queen, clean, excuse me. Quick as well. Good, nice, tight release there. Watch it again. You see the way she catches the ball here in her shooting pocket. Doesn't need to drop it to get her shot off. Now, this time, she's actually going to come right back out on the diagonal, attack the middle, change of direction, and then be able to hit that hole, so to speak, and get all the way to the rim. You, know, you watch it again. What we had just talked about was her making that pitch and then going, coming right back around to get the basketball on a curl cut. Now she's actually catching it, ripping through, taking one bounce, quick counter, and then trying to get to the rim to make a play and finish there at the basket. Good job. You 
know, same thing, opposite side. I really see Brown's value at the next level offensively, uh, in addition to making spot jumpers. It's putting the ball on the deck, you know, being able to get kids involved. She's such a willing teammate. You know, I had a chance to see her play some this summer, seen her play in high school the past couple of years. And she just does such a good job of distributing and facilitating to others, making shots when need be, but really is a passer first at the next level. Now we're going to see her put the ball on the deck, get that counter into a one-bounce pull-up, which is going to be a lot of what she gets at that next level. You know, she'll get to the, the rim a little bit, but more so we think Brown's going to be a second-level kid as opposed to a third level all the way to the basket. Catch, rip through. You see the counter here. Now it gets into that second level right before the post player will come over for the help and then knocks that jumper down, puts herself in a position once again to be a shot maker. She's not going to need a high volume of attempts. She's going to need nine or ten attempts. She's going to make five or seven shots out of that nine or ten. You know, it's great when you're working with players at this skill level you know, who also can get it done in the classroom. You know, we look at, at Brown, a kid who goes to, from a school perspective, a school that's as good as any in that major metropolitan area there of Knoxville, and you can tell reflected in her scores, you know, a 26 already on the ACT, and she plans on retaking that in October. So definitely a kid that puts in the work both academically and athletically. And you, some of these clips that you're watching, you know, at this point we've been in the gym about an hour and 20 minutes. She had already worked out in Knoxville before she drove down on Friday, put in a workout with her school team, and then came uh, right down the interstate to come and work out with us, man. So definitely a kid, as you see that pullback crossover, who gives everything she has in both those areas. You know, as you would expect from a kid who shoots it as well as she does, high percentage kid from the free throw line. You can see her right here, knees locked in, gets the ball set, same shot every time, consistent. As you can see, the ball comes right back to her on the string. Thanks for watching Kelsey Brown.